fight the war and use our music as a weapon. I want each and every one of you to gather together with me now and pray to whatever God or supernatural force that you believe in for the safe return of our brothers and sisters who've been sent to the desert to fight. There is no longer any point in protesting a war which we are well on the verge of winning. The main thing a soldier needs to know when he is out on the field of battle is that the people who he is risking his life for are behind him. And we are behind them, are we not my brothers and sisters? Still I wonder if in all this zeal for war we might have missed something. The symbol that you see elevated above the set behind me is a symbol of universal belief. Within it are contained representations of the four religious symbols that represent the four faiths that span this globe. You have the cross standing for Catholicism and Christianity. The Star of David, standing for Judaism. You have the Pentacle, standing for Paganism and Wicca. And no, that is not a pentagram that would be the symbol inverted. And we do not acknowledge the existence of Satan in the first place. He is a bedtime story told to children to frighten them into sleep. When I ask you to show me your devil horns, that is not a sign of Satan. That is a sign of heavy fucking metal. The final addition to the symbol is the crescent moon of Islam. which is not necessarily the most popular of symbols these days. But the one thing that we all have in common, no matter what faith we subscribe to, is that within the physical shell that is our bodies resides a human soul. And within the soul of every human being on this planet, music resonates! So perhaps, if we stopped paying so much attention to how different we are and started realizing how much alike we are, maybe we would not have gotten involved in this accursed war in the first place! So indeed, my brothers and sisters, I say fight the war and use our music as a weapon! Let me 
So